Okay, let's see what's happening. Hi, Pam, can you hear me? <clears throat> awesome. Hello, hello, hello. It's Shell from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached anytime by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. Hey everybody, it's good to see you all. Hey Carol, glad you could make it. Tonight we are going to have some fun, ladies. We are going to be making a card. Actually, we're going to make three cards. I have four cards in total to show you. Um, we're going to be making three different cards using the same layout, the same supplies, different colors, and the same technique. Okay? So... If you want to have a look at this sketch, this is for 6x6 six six DSP. And for those of you that follow me, you know that we've used this sketch before. These are cutting, this is a cutting sketch for 6x6 six six DSP. Okay? So your paper is 6x6. Six six. We are going to cut it at 3.5. This piece here, we're going to keep for our envelope flap. This piece here is going to be for the card front. So once we've cut this at three and a half, we're going to turn this and we are going to cut off one and a quarter inches. So you can use this to decorate the inside of your card if you want, or you can just throw it in your scrap bin, whatever you want. Primarily tonight, I'm concerned with these two pieces, okay? That would be Pam. <laughs> Carol, you make me laugh, girl. All right. So, quickly, I am going to go over the dimensions for tonight's cards. The card base is Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We are going to have a colored mat. I'm choosing to, co to match mine to my designer series paper. They're going to be five and a quarter by four. Then we're going to have a white mat layer, five by three and three quarters. Then we're going to need DSP, four and three quarters by three and a half. You see the trend that's happening here? Each one's just a quarter of an inch smaller. Then we're going to need the second largest stitched, uh, I can't even talk, stitched so sweetly die, the second largest stitched rectangle. And we're going to cut that out with Whisper White. And we're going to need some ribbon. Originally, I was going to put white ribbon on all my cards. I changed it up just a little bit. And then we need some stamp sets that have critters on them. Okay, what do I need by critters? Well, we have tons of choices. We could do chickens. We could do this guy. We could do any of these guys. We could do this guy 
or this little lady here. We could do the snail it guys. We could do the darling donkeys. But we're not going to. Tonight we are going to be using the Hey Birthday Chick, Kangaroo and Company, and Zany Zebras. Okay? Going to be fun. I tell you, it's going to be fun. Also, we are using these two stamps. Now these are like splotchy background stamps. And it's this one and this one from the Painted Poppies Bundle. Okay? All right. So, now you know what we need. And you've seen our cutting. And we're going to cut the, car, uh, the DSP together. And I have three pieces. And this is the Oso Ombre paper. And we are going to be using... The dotted side okay so in this pack there's rococo rose bermuda bay granny apple green and blackberry bliss i bet you can't guess what my fourth sample card color is haha -ha, right okay so we are going to bring in our paper trimmer and i'm going to use this big one tonight let me make sure that i'm in the frame i am Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to do all four of these together at the same time. Four. These are three, shall we? Not four. Okay, so I am going to find my cutting diagram again. Three and a half inches. All right, make sure they're all even. And we are going to cut off at three and a half. Okay, these pieces are going to be for our envelope. Now we're going to take this and we're going to flip it. And I'm going to cut it off at four and three quarters. Let me line those up. And that's going to leave this little one and a quarter inch piece at the bottom. All right, this is what we wanted. That is for our card fronts. Okay, pretty easy, right? Okay. So, let's bring in our Bermuda Bay one. We're going to do three. We're just going to choose one and get started. Now, I was going to use white ribbon on all of my cards. I was going to use this white ribbon. It's the, it's current ribbon. It's kind of like a real sheer white ribbon, but I changed my mind. There's a lot of white in this card. I went with coordinating colors. And in order to do that, I am using some retired ribbon. So don't shoot me. All right, so the easiest part of this whole thing, I need to get another bottle of glue. I can find it because I have an empty one. All right, so this is super, super easy. We are going to start layering. All right. Why is that not right? This is the wrong size. Hold on. We're just going to slide this card out of the way. And we're going to bring in this one. Make sure that this is right. Yes, it is. We're going to let that glue dry. We'll come back to that card so I can cut it down. That's what running home from work and trying to figure out what you're going to do in an hour's time will do. You make mistakes when cutting. All right, there is layer one. Carol, did you get a new dresser? I know you were looking. There is layer two. 
Okay, see how that white with the dark cardstock is making it pop? And now, whoops, I almost made another mistake. I need a couple of glue dots to put on my ribbon. So I'm just putting a couple of glue dots on each end and we are going to wrap that around the center ish like so. There we go. Just want a little bit of embellishment. Not yet. Couldn't find anything you liked, eh? Alright, so now we're just going to lay this down and each layer is just one quarter inch bigger. Okay, so I'm going to just sit this card aside. Alright, and I am going to bring in <clears throat> the next one. I'm going to just leave that there. And we are going to continue our merry little journey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my card bases layered up. I'm going to check this, make sure I cut it right before I put glue on it. Layered up and ready to go. And then we will work on our focal images. Love how fresh this green and white one looks. All right. Now you see me doing something a little different here. I'm going to put the ribbon this time around not only the DSP, but this matte layer just to change it up. And I'm going to grab a little bit of tear and tape and put on there. Let me just see. And a little bit on there. As you can tell, I just. lopped off a chunk of ribbon I really didn't measure. I was in a bit of a rush. All right. Now, I'm going to lay this ribbon down. I'm going to lay the card down. Fold one over, pull it taut, and fold over the other. Now we will adjust like so. All right. Now we're going to put this layer down. Now you can put dimensionals on one of these layers if you want, but I didn't because I'm going to pop my critters up. And somewhere in my craft room, I have wobbles. Do you know what I mean by wobbles? Those little action wobbles. You put them on your on the back of your cards and it makes whatever when you move your card it makes whatever's behind it jiggle around. I looked everywhere trying to find those and I couldn't. So we're not having any wobbly cards because I thought that would be really cute too. Seeing as we were going the cutesy route tonight with critters. And this paper is a celebration freebie. So, um, okay, I'm going to see if I can cut this the right size. This is supposed to be five and a quarter by four. And it's four. But it's not five and a quarter. There we go. 
look at that. And no glue on my cutter. Bonus. All right. Make sure I got this card going in the right direction. And we will reapply some glue. Holy, giving me grief. No sliding involved with this one. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now we will bring in these other pieces. So it's just a reminder for anyone who's here that are my customers, my final celebration order is going in tomorrow morning. If there's anything you want, make sure you contact me before tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And as also as a reminder, it is a very good idea if you're wanting... Um, the reinkers and stuff that are retiring if you're going to get them now's a good time to get them because you're going to earn celebration rewards okay so there's the business plug of this sec this video there we go i don't even remember this ribbon i found this in my retired drawer and it's sad to say I don't remember it. So I don't know how old this ribbon is. But it is the right color. So I'm using it. Alright, this is the boring part done. Okay. Set that aside, and we're going to move on to the fun part. Now, what did I do with, there it is, <clears throat> I want my stamp in that, because yes, we are going to just stamp with blocks tonight. Maybe I'll just do one at a time. All right, first things first, I need greetings. So... For this kangaroo one, I'm going to use Hello Baby. It is the cutest stamp set. And I don't have hardly any baby cards. Not that I have a whole lot of need for them. Um, but it's always nice to have a couple in your stash. So we are going to go with black ink for the greetings, all of them. Oh, Butterfingers. I guess it's glue fingers. I just want to prime this stamp a little bit. I don't think I've used this greeting yet. Wish me luck. keep on all the cards I'm going to keep my greetings down in this corner beautiful all right so now I have to choose I think I'll go with the green one for this for this baby card so I'm going to need the granny apple green ink pad and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up this big splotch. <clears throat> and I'm going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of the card, or of the layer. Okay, now we have a goof. You see that? 
it's okay because I'm not done yet. That was stamped off. This one's going to be full strength. And you can barely notice it. I'm okay with that. All right, so that will go here on the front of this card. And I'm going to use dimensionals. And pop up this panel. <clears throat> we don't want any saggy middles, so we'll pop one in the middle. right down in the center. All right, now, I've pre-done my kangaroo. I Since we're doing three cards, I knew you guys wouldn't want to sit there and watch me color. So I pre-did my kangaroo. And I'm just putting dimensionals on the back of them. And then we're going to put him right down, her, I guess. She's pregnant. She's holding her belly. We're going to put our little kangaroo right down like that. How cute is that? Oops, I better shut this ink pad before I dry out all my ink. All right, so now we need to embellish this one. And I just think I'm going to go with these frosted um gems we're just going to grab some of these and pop these on i still have glue on my fingers it's grabbing everything and one down here just like so how cute is that? All right, we're one down. We're moving on. What did I do with the package? Okay, we'll find the package later. Okay, we are moving on. We are gonna go on to Bermuda Bay. So we're gonna have to stamp our Bermuda Bay. But before we do that, we have to clean our stamps because we have, um, granny apple green ink on them so I am just going to bring in my chamois and polish those up all right now we need to choose a greeting for our chicken card and I think this one's going to be a happy birthday and we're just going to pop that right down there and I'm going to use the memento ink again paranoid I use my Stamparatus so much that I'm paranoid when I, <laughs> like I said, paranoid. All right, we're going to bring in the next one because we can't really flip over. Well, we can try. And I am bringing in my Stamparatus. And where is my chamois? I'm so spoiled now by that Stamparatus that <clears throat> I rely on it. All right, I am going to pop that right there. 
you know what? I need to bring in my chicken and measure. We're gonna have to do something a bit different because I can't put that greeting on there. Hmm. All right, who I may be able to salvage this. I am going to get a little piece of <clears throat> white cardstock. I have scraps here beside me. Just bear with me while I get one. And I am going to stamp happy birthday on here. And we are going to cut out a little flag to put alongside. You know me, indecisive, change my mind as I go. All right, that will do my friends. And I'll pop that stamp back in the case. And now I need to get my paper trimmer. I don't have hardly any room here. Because <clears throat> I've once again put myself into a corner. And now I am going to cut this out. about the size we're going to need. All right, where's my chicken? There it is. So if I put my chicken here and put my happy birthday like so, that would look really cool. However, it doesn't stand out too much. I am going to use a piece of this to mat on the back of this. So it's going to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna trim this down even tighter. And yes, I'm just winging it with my scissors. Live life on the edge. All right. A little bit of Tombow. Come along. There we go. And I don't need a big border. I just want a little one. Just to make it stand out a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> or I could do that, but then the balloon is off. What do you think? Should I do it like this? Because the chicken and the tag. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. I am, I am. Um, how far up does that balloon go? Pretty much all the way. All right, so this guy is going down flat because this balloon is just too flimsy to pop him up. All right. So we're gonna put that like so and work quickly going to put just a drop on there and get it all over your card <laughs> like so all right 
see how that pops? I like it. All right, now some dimensionals. And I think that most of that balloon is supported now, so I think we'll be okay. And we'll flip this guy over, like so. Now on that balloon, I'm going to make it a little sparkly with my Wink of Stella. See how pretty that is? All right, now we need some embellishment. What do I have in my magic box of tricks? Bear with me a moment until I see what I can find. And I have a whole lot, but not what I'm looking for. I'm wondering if I have anything in Coastal Cabana, and I probably don't, but Oh, look what I found. My wobbles. And I just said I couldn't find any. All right, we're going to go with rhinestones for this one. We'll match the sparkle. All right. So we're just going to go one, two, three. Just like that. That is cute. I like that one. All right, now we are going to pull out a wobble. If you've never seen a wobble before, I will show you. These are commercial ones. Um, we've done homemade ones before. But this is what they are. These are just plastic springs attached to two sticky pads. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think, yeah, he's gonna be too big. My next one's gonna be with this zebra, and see, we can't use it because he's too big. So if I had had him for the chicken or for the kangaroo, we, we could have used them. Oh well, too late. All right. We are bringing in our final card. My chicken card I didn't put on my splotches. Holy guys, you never stopped me. I'm supposed to have splotches back there. Okay, we have a splotchless splotch technique card. All right, we must do splotches. Let's bring in our Blackberry Bliss. And our, right in front of me, Splotch. Okay. That was stamped off. This one will be full strength. And do you see the contrast in there? Cool, eh? Now I need a little tiny greeting for this guy. And I kind of like the one that says, you party animal. <laughs> I think it's funny. All right. And because I don't want to mess this up, I'm bringing in my Stamparatus, and we are going to use it. You party animal. <laughs> yeah, it looks okay without the splotches, but that was not my intention. 
when I'm done the video, I might take my dental floss and take it apart and put on the splotches and see if I can make it look the way I intended. All right, I am happy with that greeting. It's very, very good. We can get that out of the way. And then we can cut up some of these bones because I use every stinking drop of these. the back of my little guy. Alrighty, you party animal. <laughs> now, do I have anything in Blackberry? I would be doubting it, but I do have my favorite embellishment that will coordinate with this card. And that's these matte black dots. So we're just going to pop three of those little babies on there. And get some more of these on the back of this. Just like so. Alright, get out of my way. My desktop is a catastrophe. Alright. That little guy go on there and I want to try something. I just thought of something that might look pretty cool. Oh, it's still too big big. Oh, I like that. I am going to use it. Roll up a glue dot here. Whoops. And I'm just going to put this little ribbon on horizontally like that. Just to add a little bit of interest. All right, now it's time to bring them all in. This guy really bothers me because he has no splotches, but it is what it is for now. And then we have our baby kangaroo. And then, of course, I had to do the donkey. And this one's done in the Rococo Rose. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> And then there I did the envelope. So that, that leftover, those leftover pieces, what I did is I just put glue on the flap of the envelope, stuck this on, opened it up, and cut around it. So that way you have a matching set. And I have pieces here that I can do the envelopes for these cards as well. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Use up your DSP. Think outside the box a little bit. I know that we've done that cutting layout before, but these cards look totally, totally different than the last time we did that layout. Okay? All right. I hope you've seen something you like. Get Stampin' Ladies. And any of my girls that are here, you have just a couple of days left to get your cards submitted for the contest. Okay? I'm doing that draw on March 1st. All right, bye-bye for now.
Thanks.